I'm actually out of Slim Jims too, but uh, it's okay because I got they're not chicken nuggets, but they're effectively like massive chicken nuggets, and I got them really, really damn cheap. I don't understand. I mean, I talked about it earlier on stream, but I don't understand this local grocery place next to me. They got they have such cheap chicken. I don't understand how their chicken's so cheap. Like, I'm getting chicken for $3 a pound. And it's... I don't... And I don't, like, you go, like, oh, $3 a pound's not great. For chicken right now? For chicken right now? $3 a pound? Cooked chicken? Like, that's that's a lot. This is other scab. It's, it's not that much. And it's just... And I'm very happy because that's, you know, two, three meals. For me. It was so crazy, right? Chicken price is so damn crazy. But I, And the cashier got upset with me because I asked her what was wrong with it the other day. And she didn't want to... You know, she didn't want to tell me what was wrong with the chicken. I'm like, I just want to know what's wrong with the damn chicken. Like, I got a curious fucking mind. You can't sell chicken this cheap and not expect questions. And she's like, we're just a butcher. We have extra chicken. And I'm like, I, right, but... So it's it's extra chicken? It's old chicken? How old is the chicken? You tell me. No. God damn it, Mr. Scab. I'm talking about fucking chicken. No, divide my chicken. I'm gonna go fucking shoot you in the face. I wanna talk about chicken. We're having a chicken conversation. Okay, anyways, yeah, chicken. Uh, I'm just, I'm confused why the prices have gone up as, I mean, I understand there's the bird flu and everything, but it's, it, it lets you know how volatile all these markets are, and it's just, it's insane. Why is there another scab? Guys, we're talking about chicken market pricing. The F, we can't be, oh my god, I'm gonna deal with this. Let me grab this item first. I hate this one. There we go. Hey, there's a scab yelling at me. I just don't know where he is. By the way, we're going to talk about chicken prices again. Because chicken prices are through the damn roof. And, I, like, eggs. Uh, eggs used to be the staple of my diet. Right? Like, it's just, buy, you know, four dozen eggs for, like, four dollars. And you just make so much different kind of food with them. A, it's so much protein. B, it's, like, healthy food. Uh, to a point, like, you can't just eat eggs. You need to do... <laughs> do not just eat eggs and be like, I, I'm a healthy person. I eat... I'm Gaston. I eat ten dozen eggs every day. No, 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 no. Just, like, eat two or three eggs for breakfast. <laughs> you know, maybe, like, two or three eggs for, for lunch, and then two or three eggs for dinner. It's good protein. It's good cheap protein, too. And I used to, I used to cook a lot of chicken, and then pork started going down real cheap for me in my area, and I don't, I still don't understand this, but I'm able to get pork so much cheaper than chicken. Uh, especially when I buy it right before it's about to go bad. Pork goes really bad really quick. Um, so like, it's just, it's real easy to, also I live in a very, like it, I used to live in a very, very heavily Jewish area. Um, and I used to go shop around their supermarket all the time because like the pork was always going bad. and. I get why they don't eat pork. I'm not saying it's bad against Jewish people. It's just, you know, learn learn about religions, and then you can learn where food's cheaper because less people buy it. It goes bad faster. You can buy expiring meat. Sunny side up eggs, hash browns, and bacons. Oh, you had me until the hash browns. I like hash browns. All right, we're going to have a... I agree with you, it doesn't get old. But it does get old with the wrong kind of hash browns. What do you mean by hash brown? Hash browns, it's like saying like I like it's like saying I like shrimp and grits, or I like uh, I like chicken and rice, right? Like I, there's there's a lot of things that and can be and rice and grits and hash browns can be a lot of things. Hash browns come in a lot of variety. Sunny side up though is only only way to do eggs. You need those juices running. Oh, the McDonald's big breakfast. What a Great invention, too. Homemade tops. Well, it's not even about homemade. Shredded hash browns? Okay. Like, as in your free... And this is what I was getting at with the hash browns. Like, free-formed hash browns. They don't have to be... You don't have to, You can buy frozen hash browns. I don't get the... You know, people that, like, knock buying frozen vegetables. Buy frozen vegetables. As long as you know how to cook them, they're not really that much worse. Like, some vegetables are... You need to 
you know, you need to learn which ones are and which ones aren't. And how to cook them, but... But homemade... Yeah, so hash browns, the way you're doing them is great. If you're, if you're pre-shredding them, you make your own, like, shapes and stuff with them, and you're controlling the amount of hash browns. I hate the hash brown pucks. I don't know whose idea it was to be like, let's get a hash brown that could fit into a toaster. And the reason that I know the hash browns fit in the toaster uh, is the reason why I didn't have a toaster for most of my adult life. So don't don't put hash browns in the toaster. They uh, they, they, they tend to fall apart. Like the, the hockey puck ones. I don't like it. I don't like the hockey puck ones anymore because of that. They don't, they don't ever come out right. I, I, I can cook frozen potatoes. I'll, I freeze potatoes from time to time. I have no problem with frozen potatoes. Those hash brown pucks, I don't know who the who makes them, how they freeze them, what they're doing with them. They don't cook like potatoes. And I don't, like, I have to cook them like a burger. And it, it you're, like, you have to hard sear them on both sides, and then you have to, and it's like, oh, it's so weird. Whereas with, like, potatoes, you let them naturally come up, and that sear just kind of builds over time. You know, it's not like a quick sear. Man, those, those freaking hockey pucks. Oh, so different. Yeah, the taste is there, the texture. And if you're into it, you're into it, right? I mean, there's people out there who eat... Yeah, I talk about this on stream a lot, but there's people out there who eat, like, mattresses and shit. I, like, I'd rather you eat hash brown than mattresses. Like, a shitty hash brown than you eat mattresses, but... I get it. Everybody's different, but goddamn. I understand I have some very odd potato. I don't want to say odd. That's not that way to put it. Uh, I should, I should introduce it this way. So when I was younger, I used to eat raw potatoes um, in, in high school as a snack. Me and my cousin would walk around... And we would just snack on raw potatoes. We didn't see a problem with it. Um, the school and some of our classmates had some issues with apparently consuming raw potatoes. And uh, to this day, I still I still don't necessarily understand why. Like, I, why would you not take that moment to encourage about healthy vegetable usage? There's nothing wrong with a little bit of raw potato. I don't know, Sanctum. I don't know what's wrong with eating raw potato. That's what confuses- I, like, in my mind, there's something wrong with eating raw potato. Because I had to have multiple lectures from me, from adults, that said eating raw potato is bad. They never explained to me why eating raw potato is bad. But now I feel bad when I eat raw potato, so I don't eat raw potato anymore. And it upsets me. Because I feel bad when I look at a raw potato and I get a little bit hungry. And it's just, it's just weird social programming. And I don't, I don't get it. Like, I mean, there's people out here eating mattresses and shit. Let me eat some raw potatoes. Fuck. Teachers. These, these teachers. They don't know what the, they're probably sitting here talking about, like, oh, we need to, oh, God, I shouldn't go off on teachers right now. It's bad timing. I have a lot I can say about teachers right now. Support your local teachers. They're good people. Um, they deserve your, your respect. And, um, you should work with them with compassion and, I don't know why I'm, ooh. <laughs> Raw potatoes are high in resistant starch, which has been linked to better blood sugar, enhanced insulin sensitivity, increased feelings of fullness, and improved digestive health. Uh, so I get that with sauerkraut, is where I get, get most of that stuff. But yeah, potatoes, same thing, like it, it naturally, like, ferments and, and, from my understanding, I was raised a little bit. You just like it naturally ferments and foments in you, and that that builds a good experience. Yeah, it builds a builds a fun experience, and then you're always left with a dilemma, right? Like, do you, oh light bulbs? I need light bulbs. Um, you know, do you do you eat the potato? What's, uh, how did Archer put it? Right, <laughs> like uh, that the TV show Archer. Like you're left with the Irishman's dilemma, right? Either do you eat the potato now? Or do you turn it into vodka to drink it six months later? Alright, we're gonna pull out the SKS here, though. Because this penetrates doors better. There's always somebody hiding behind this door. Shit. So I told you. Shit. You see the shadow? I can't. I don't want to fight that guy. I don't want to fight that guy. He's just in there. He's all creepy. Go leave. I can't fight that guy. Mm-mm. 